In this video, we have yet another diamond pattern in the Bitcoin price. One of the features in these diamond patterns are these big volatile swings in the middle of the pattern. And you guys remember when we had this diamond pattern, I was talking about the fact that this is a diamond top and it's slightly likelier that we break down rather than up. In this video, I want to show you exactly what I think is going to happen. I want to show you exactly where the target is for the bullish scenario, where the target is for the bearish scenario. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to think about if you want to trade this breakout. The breakout is imminent. It is going to happen any point in time right now. So get ready. In this video, I also want to show you this text here where Hal Finney is giving us some reasons to why Bitcoin could go to 10 million dollars per coin that might sound crazy but he has a very very good reason for his prediction and if you go down below this video you will see some timestamps this can help you navigate to the content of this video and also stock markets are starting to soar towards all-time highs i want to talk about this historical rebound it's the biggest bounce the biggest rebound the world has ever seen I want to talk about that and if you think that that sounds interesting then I think that you should definitely watch this video. Welcome to the moon, my name is Carl and I'm going to bring you this Bitcoin video. Alright, let's get right into these Bitcoin diamond patterns. So first of all, here we have one pattern that I talked about when this was forming. Um, it's called a diamond pattern when it looks like a diamond basically and they are usually uh, tilted on the side like this and um, essentially what, what I'm seeing now is that we're forming yet another diamond pattern and so just to make a small summary of what I talked about here um, I was saying that this is a diamond pattern it's called a diamond top when we're going into the diamond like this and it's usually a reversal pattern uh, which basically means that it's likelier that we break down rather than up but it's just slightly likelier to the downside. It's um, uh, closer to a coin flip uh, than, than many other patterns. 57% um, chance to break down. But uh, we did actually break down this time. Uh, we didn't uh, get a very explosive break uh, down, but we did go to the downside. And from the breakout out of this pattern, Bitcoin did actually fall 11% uh, approximately. So uh, what does that mean for our new pattern? Well, the same goes here. A diamond pattern has an approximately 57% chance to break to the downside. Um, it is called a diamond top, like I said. So if we go into it like this, then we should basically expect us to um, go down uh, slightly likelier. However, of course, um, like I said, it's very close to a coin flip. So uh, it, it is going to break up uh, very often, of course. Actually, it's a 43% chance that will break up. So how do we know if this is a diamond pattern or not? And I also know that many people uh, say that this is uh, not a legitimate pattern. They think that this just looks too messy. And I can agree that this looks much messier than, uh, than in, uh, your average um, symmetrical triangle or an ascending triangle. This doesn't really look like something that is tradable. And I will be honest and I will agree to the fact that I think that diamond patterns are much harder to trade because... Uh, the lines, they don't look as beautiful as most other patterns. But let's go over to the Bulkowski's uh, website here uh, when he's talking about diamond tops. This is the uh, number one uh, site for patterns. Bulkowski is the uh, author of the uh, most uh, popular chart pattern book, which is called Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. All right, so here we have a small representation of this. We have a diamond and it eventually breaks to the downside uh, more often than not. And we see here, so the price trend should be upward leading into the pattern. And that checks out. We have an upward trending um, trend. And the shape should look like a diamond, but one usually tilted to the side. Uh, this is exactly what we're seeing. And then touches. Prices will touch each trend line once or twice. Don't worry if your lines cross some of the price outliers. So basically, this is the only pattern where it, it can look quite messy. Uh, other patterns are supposed to have at least two touches on every trend line, but now we have simply uh, on this trend line here we only have one, for example. But according to Bukowski, that's fine. Uh, and some of these uh, outliers every now and then we can see like um, 
big uh, spikes above and beyond. But yeah, that shouldn't be a problem according to this pattern sites. And the volume trend should be downwards um, a little bit more often than not, 59% of the time. And if we take a look at the volume, we can see that the volume is downtrending since the middle of the pattern, but not uh, not from the, the whole pattern. So I'm not really sure if I would call this uh, declining volume. And the breakout is downward 57% of the time. All right, so let's take a look at some uh, trading tips here. Um, if the price makes a quick and nearly vertical rise leading into the diamond and the breakout is downward, expect the price to drop back to the price at which it started. So here, if we have a big explosive vertical pump, then we should expect the price to go all the way down to where the pump started uh, if we break down. Let's go back to the chart and take a look if, uh, at if this happened in the previous uh, chart. Uh, and of course, you can see here that this did not happen here. Uh, I did mention back here that if we break down, th the target will actually be all the way down at uh, where the pump started. But you can see that we failed to, to um, reach that target. But let's see. And what happens here if we are going to come back to where this pump started? Well, in that case, you can see that this pump started all the way down here at um, 8.7. So if we break down, maybe we should expect uh, Bitcoin to come all the way down to this. But this would basically be the technical target. You can also see how if we break to the upside, we can uh, trade this as a half staff, like a, um, a uh, continuation pattern that if we break up, we're probably going to see um, an equal amount of um, price action as we saw leading into the pattern. And a half staff pattern basically just means that uh, the, uh, the initial rise here is half of the total um, price gain. So we're seeing the, uh, the other half come as we break to the upside, so a continuation pattern. And uh, this would give us a target of 10,440, and that would actually line up perfectly with our green resistance box here. So if we break to the upside, then uh, we should target the, uh, the top of this resistance that we have already seen Bitcoin uh, get rejected from or uh, on from uh, several points here. If we scroll back, you can see that uh, this is a very, very significant zone. So yeah, if we break up, make sure to uh, pay attention at these levels and p potentially take profit. And if we break down, um, I think that we should just take a look at this technical target um, as I showed you, 8,700 approximately. And I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys who are liking my videos every single day. I see, I mean, these 3,000 of you, you like my videos every single day. You are clearly among my biggest supporters. Thank you so, so much. Next up, I'm not sure if you have seen this before, but Hal Finney has actually made a big $10 million Bitcoin prediction back in the days. Let me show you this text that Hal Finney wrote back many, many years ago when Bitcoin was still basically worthless. It's interesting that the system can be configured to allow only a certain maximum number of coins ever to be generated. I guess the idea is that the amount of work needed to generate a new coin will become more difficult as time goes on. One immediate problem with any new currency is how to value it even ignoring the practical problem that virtually no one will accept it at first, there is still a difficulty in coming up with a reasonable argument in favor of a particular non-zero value for the coins. An amusing thought experiment, imagine that Bitcoin is successful and becomes the dominant payment system in use throughout the world, then the total value of the currency should be equal to the total value of all the wealth in the world. Current estimates of total wealth that I have found range from uh, $100 trillion to $300 trillion. With 20 million coins, that gives each coin a value of about $10 million. So the possibility of generating coins today with a few cents of compute time may be quite a good bet with a payoff of something like $100 million to one. Even if the odds of Bitcoin succeeding to this degree are slim, are they really $100 million to one against? Something to think about, Hal. And I tend to agree with what he's saying here. I believe that there is a there is a chance that Bitcoin is actually going to be successful. And this means that Bitcoin is going to be worth at least a few million dollars. Because if Bitcoin is going to take over the pool of money in the world, then we're talking about at least 100 trillion. Because that's the, uh, the value of all the money in the world, basically. And, uh, and I think that that's a clear possibility. But the interesting part is that 
uh, if you look at real estate and stocks and many other assets, um, there, there are assets that could uh, potentially uh, leak value into Bitcoin, uh, especially uh, assets that are currently used as a store of values. For example, real estate. Many people don't use real estate only for living. They use it as a store of value because keeping money in your bank uh, will just... Uh, uh, lead to inflation and the fact that your money gets less and less valuable. So when people realize that they can use Bitcoin, which is much more liquid than a real estate, and it's also much safer than a bank, then I think that many, many people and trillions of dollars will switch to Bitcoin. So what I'm saying here is that the ultimate target for Bitcoin is not 100 trillion, but it's actually much higher than that, maybe 200 trillion. And uh, Hal Finney says that maybe up to uh, 300 trillion. And next up, stocks are currently soaring to new all-time highs in this biggest rebound that the world has ever seen. And uh, there has been a 63% decline in volatility over the past 10 weeks. And this is the largest 10-week volatility decline in history. Uh, you can see this is the NASDAQ. It is currently at all-time highs, which is, of course, extremely uh, hard to justify when we have this worldwide pandemic, we see riots around the world, demonstrations, protests. It is very, very hard to justify all-time highs in stock markets. And my question, of course, to everyone is what would happen if central banks did not print all of these trillions? Well, I am sure that this rebound would, would not have happened. We would have seen a massive fall here, uh, way below the levels we are at currently. And here is the, um, the volatility index, the VIX. It is, it is also called the uh, fear index. When this spikes up, we see a lot of volatility. Uh, and basically, people are fearful. And you can see here, back in the uh, previous financial crisis, 2008, we saw the VIX come all the way up here. Um, and we did spike very close to the uh, peak of the previous uh, crisis. Uh, and this was just in a couple of months. This was uh, from uh, a couple of years. Uh, so we already saw a massive spike in the VIX. Uh, and here is the 10-week change. And the interesting part here is that if you look at the, the financial crisis of 2008, this VIX spiked way up here. And then it took a long time for the volatility index to cool down because the volatility was uh, big for a long period of time. Here we saw one massive pump in the VIX, one big vol volatile move. And now we've seen a huge rebound in the volatility. And here the 10-week percent change it's the biggest 10-week change that the world has ever, ever seen. We've never seen the VIX spike up this much and then have a 10-week percent change that is so dramatic that is way back to the levels from before this uh, big uh, volatile change. And I can assure you that this only happened because of all of this quantitative easing, all of these trillions of dollars worth of fiat currency printed around the world. So this begs the question, when will the US dollar collapse? Because eventually it will collapse because re world reserve currency status does not last forever. Let me show you this small clip here. This is from back in 1400 and we can see how we have had several different world reserve currencies before. So the world had first Portugal had the world reserve currency and then that f uh, fell and Spain took over the world reserve currency. Then the Netherlands uh, held the status for a short period of time. And then we saw France, Britain, and currently we are uh, seeing the US having the world reserve currency status. But you can see that this is a cycle. And uh, when one country uh, leaves this status, another country takes off. And the question, of course, will be uh, the next uh, world reserve currency status. Will it be China or will it be Bitcoin? Because China is currently the fastest growing economy and is currently threatening uh, the US empire, if you want to call it that. But it is also possible that Bitcoin could take over as the world reserve currency. I think that would be the best for the world. It would be amazing to have a decentralized world reserve currency because uh, all these, um, these countries here, they basically had a lot of power over the world when they held the world reserve currency status. Of course, it was still... Uh, gold. This was actually on a full gold standard, but uh, with their stamp on the coins, they had a they had some political power over the coins. But there is no political stamp you can put on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. You cannot brand Bitcoin. It's like one Bitcoin is always just going to be one Bitcoin. And this is why Bitcoin is the perfect, perfect world reserve currency. There can be no one taking political control over Bitcoin. So. Uh, it's completely neutral. And guys, if you can go down below this video and help me out. 
If you leave a thumbs up, that would be very appreciated. If you leave a comment, please leave a comment about this diamond pattern or anything else. Um, I always read all of your comments, so I love reading comments and please leave some comments. It also helps out for the algorithm. Thank you so much. And if you haven't seen this video, then click right there right now and I'll see you guys tomorrow.